there's something big coming. Hello. Okay, next video. For this video, I've teamed up with ITV to create awareness for this fantastic new TV series coming out called Jekyll and Hyde. When I heard about the series, I kind of jumped at the chance because I've not done anything on this channel yet remotely Jekyll and Hyde related, even though it's been requested tons in the past, so yeah, I had to do it. I actually haven't done that much from that time period either, from like the 1930s, like that whole gothic glamour theme. So I thought it would be an awesome opportunity for me to recreate something from that kind of time era. I was a bit in two minds whether or not I wanted to do this kind of thing because from what I can remember from the original Stevenson novel, there aren't that many different like demonic, monstery type characters in there aside from Mr Hyde. But when I heard about the actual twist that they put on this new series, my creativity kind of exploded because they've introduced so many new like different demonic and monstery characters. And... Yay. Thanks for waking me up. The twist is that it's not actually about Dr. Jekyll, it's about his grandson. But fortunately, he shares the same traits, so better not annoy him. Otherwise, he'll, I'm pretty sure he'll transform into something awesome. Not much incentive not to piss him off, really, so I kind of want to see what he turns into. But what's awesome is all the monsters and demons that are actually in the series are meant to be inspired by the whole original story. The whole series is meant to be set in like a 1930s gothic London, like glamorous, and the theme they keep cropping up is Hollywood glamour, which is obviously the main inspiration behind this look. But yeah, onto what's happening on my face. I thought this video would give me an awesome opportunity to create some looks inspired by the series, which is what I'm wearing currently now. So I created two looks inspired by the series. Basically, when they contacted me about the series, my inspiration kind of exploded because nobody really knows what any of the creatures look like in this series. We just have character descriptions. And after going through all of the characters, I thought what better way to do this video than to actually do it in my take on what the characters might look like. So this look is meant to be the mad scientist side of Jekyll, so it's my take on like a steampunky Mr. Hyde. But yeah, I wanted to create this manic looking, stressed, and somehow angry character, just taking all of the traits from Mr. Hyde. So I still wanted this makeup to retain its like humanity, but still be incredibly twisted looking. But I wanted to keep it fairly dated to keep in with the theme for like 1930s gothic London, and I've come up with this. So this particular character is meant to be inspired by the creature, the Reaper Bug which is meant to be this parasite that takes over a person and then controls them from the inside out. So I figured this person would be infected by this parasite and as time goes on, slowly their body will be dying. But I still wanted to maintain the whole gothic glamour and the whole beauty of the look, so I went with this. I'll be releasing tutorials for both of these makeups. Although I have actually released this makeup tutorial already, this makeup will be released later on next week. But yeah, the series so far from the adverts and promos looks freaking awesome, I can't wait to see it. It actually premieres tonight, so the 25th of October, at about 6.30. I say this because if you follow me on Twitter, which I'll flash on the screen here, whenever I watch a new TV show like that, I tend to do some live commentary when I'm watching it. So if you do follow me on Twitter, you probably can get spammed with like live tweeting, so there's that. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> So yeah, I really hope you guys like this video. I hope it helps to inspire you guys to create your own 1930s gothic demonic characters. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy the series. Let me know if you guys watch it and let me know in the comments below what you think about the series. Until next time, bye guys. I wouldn't miss this for the world.